Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Hello, everybody. We continue today with an uh, interesting take from certain JP user telling the statement is a lie, but somehow it conflicts with ASAP's statement. Uh, this person says that they laughed at the ridiculous lie. Don't believe it. Overseas listeners. Nidhi Sanji JP had to sponsor stream where staff recommended that viewers mix energy drinks and alcohol, reportedly leading to many teenagers being admitted to the hospital for heart arrhythmias, which, of course, uh, any energy drink can cause that in people who are susceptible to that. People already have heart issues. And the Japanese government and drink company issued a public writings. They did actually issue these writings. They actually did. And um, any color staff brought up the idea of mixing ASAP with alcohol. We have checked the manufacturing plant development lab, ma manufacturing personnel, and experts regarding this matter. And I've confirmed that ASAP Club and Chami Sul are no problem in terms of caffeine content and alcohol content. But compared to typical uh, oolong oddballs and green tea highballs. Highballs. Uh, highballs for both. Please be careful and drink in moderation. If it's not true, then how come both of them popped up with this? Uh, the Delulu of Nidhi Sisters is glorious. The EN Nidhi Sisters are currently on bargaining phase. Nidhi Sisters, the JP Nidhi Sisters, are still in denial phase. Would say damage control posts full of copium. I mean, if truly is a lie, then they should care to explain ASAP's statement. Of course, Shabri Man's tweet over 1.4k likes. His comments mostly agree with the stance. Uh, probably court retweets as well. Yeah, accounts Twitter name tag doesn't even set up mirroring uh, how much credibility. And right here, we have another person saying it's blue, it's the blue, it's green. And if you don't agree, then you're a liar all over again. Our immediate response was to make a music video private until all authorizations were confirmed. Yeah, that's the, basically what happened with the Nidhi Sandi side with the Selen Totsky uh, last cup of coffee. Copium, I think they meant uh, the teenager stuff. What management had in their brain was telling people to try this stuff and beyond me though. Yeah, it is really beyond uh, pale, basically. And again, um, streamed to thousands of people, most of them probably teens or young adults. Uh, stream had 20k CCV with 159k viewers, and these people are saying that they didn't advertise anything. The whole thing stream is an ad. The whole thing was a sponsored ad. It really was a sponsored ad. And this person says, what little misinformation? Two levers were sponsored and didn't advertise the mixing of stuff, even though they had the visual there that showed the mixing of stuff. The staff asked sponsorship brand about mixing it safe, and sponsorship brand answered it on their own. Livers and staff didn't advertise it, but we have the actual, uh, you know, visuals there. How fing dumb can these people get? How long could they possibly go? Take a look at Kurosandi's rap sheet. Uh, lower than the ground. Company is quickly digging a grave for themselves to be into. Five core repeats dogpotting on OP and no one siding with them. Effing wild. Of course, the Needy Sisters will call it misinformation. Just protects the effing company. Hopefully, Needy Fanatics stick to this route of defense. I really hope they are not so unstable as to dogpile on teens that were hospitalized because of the incident. I don't think so. I hope not, at least. And um, MFR's defense is actually, nah, it wasn't real. Yeah, that's the actual defense that they're trying to do. Uh, let's see, the two chemicals with opposite effects on the brain is functionality can be quite scary and even lethal. Calling this fellow an uncensored version of the R word might be get me canceled, so I will instead say that mom certainly didn't use what well, I got. Okay, I won't go that, that, that way, that route. Honestly, really want to see this level of corporate bootlicking since June and July come around. It'll be so funny seeing the sisters coping hard on the two nukes drop. And of course, we have to have a little bit of a meme in there. Of course, we have a little bit of a meme. Um, drink responsibly in moderation. Cheers. Uh, even Lamy says not to do that. Uh, yeah, even Lamy, who is, you know, likes her, her alcohol, which is fine, uh, says, don't do that. It's scary. It'll do damage to your body. It'll do damage to your veins. And she said, uh, professional drinker with years of experience and even, uh, sake awards. Listen to the alcohol elf. Cheers to the great times to come. Real mixed drinks like Long Island iced teas. Only put a small amount of Coca-Cola in it. So yeah, uh, at the very least, don't mix the entire amount of each other. Don't do a one-to-one. -one. Real mixed drinks do like a three-to-one, four-to-one, five-to-one. It's very balanced, basically. Like, you do a small shot and maybe, like, a lot of, of alcohol, but do not take my words for advice. You know, uh, look for it yourself. And speaking of caffeine and alcohol is fine. Jaeger bombs and such. There's been an issue with energy drink, alcoholic drinks lately, with some people even dying from them. Like, yeah, just don't do it. Do it all in moderation. Do it all in small amounts, and it won't be a problem. If you do it in large amounts or do one-to-one, -one, then you're going to have a problem. Now, Needy Sisters are going for uh, slander. They're trying to say it's slander. I mean, I guess in Japan it could be slander. But in the, here in the U.S., in the West, it wouldn't be slander, so there'd be no kind of uh, force they could do after that. They couldn't go uh, on the YouTube side. They couldn't do anything on that side. So that's one thing that they can uh, 
not have the I mean have the issue for. Uh, drama VTuber Kyomaru is using Kuzuha as a thumbnail in connection with the alcohol and energy drink mix scandal. Person is known for slandering Nidhi Sanji and spreading false information for the sake of ratings. I am here to clarify English that Nidhi Sanji has made mistakes just like any other VTuber company. That does not mean it is okay to spread misinformation. Not misinformation. We have facts. And hate uh, such a derogatory remarks to the livers and staff. Please be mindful of your tweets. Of course, always be mindful of your tweets, but it isn't uh, anything uh, slanderous. Uh, link to the thread. And apparently everything Nidhi Sanji did was slanderous, false defamatory to these people. Basically, they just gouged their eyes out. And here's the one that ASAP did in basically, you know, saying that that thing happened. It actually happened. The one to one thing actually happened. They they tested it to make sure it was safe and blah, blah, blah. But the one to one thing actually happened. Another day, another 50 doses of copium for the Nidhi sisters. And here's the proof of the whole thread that they have here. Here's the whole thread that they ha they're having about, you know, people talking negative about them people pushing all the stuff around there. It's just a big, long one about WeebCon and, you know, saying many people also use the hashtag Kurosanji to refer to Nidhi Sanji. There are also many anti-Nidhi Sanjis who post Landers and libelous comments about the management and president himself, such as editing out president's face into a video which he's doing something violent. So yeah, that is, um, that's the way it's going to be. It's going to be like this person doesn't understand that there are going to be things that are just going to be, you know, poking fun at a company. There's always going to be things poking fun at a company. Ever since drama surrounding the Santi Ian Town and Senatatsuki, the VTuber has been known to spread misinformation and generate hate for the company. Uh, things like Kyomato's viewers have also been known to call Nidhi Sanji a black company. Things like talent should leave Nidhi Sanji can't get any worse. Then you have this one that's saying, uh, one viewer said, get over your delusions. Your sisters are, are not dangerous or powerful. Just a bunch of losers and crave manga. Kuzua is a sweaty man in real life. Uh, trash lose basically, you know, mistreating them. Of course, don't harass them. Don't freaking go and harass them. Overseas believe that the majority of Nidhi Sanji fans are women. Therefore, they're called sisters or Nidhi sisters. Term is now used as a derogatory term for Nidhi Sanji fans. And yeah, it just keeps going and going and going and going. Let's see the responses that they have here. Japanese bint. I'll add to the block list. Gotta say, the dude is going to call out the Japanese government at, at, at Tinijis and would be hilarious. Uh, they are that dumb and sadly, they're easily swayed underage fans. It's a part of the D, the, the D calling a thread out. Yes, JP and DS are going DEFCON 2 now. Uh, DEFCON 2, then we can sleep in peace. Basically, this is another proof of DEFCON 2. Replying to every hate tweet and bait with a, uh, uh, you know, a thumbs up. Please do not be swayed by people who are trying to make you mad. It is not worth it to get unnecessary drama. Just give them a thumbs up. Minor spelling mistake. Uh, there is no. Oh, yeah. I retweeted it to correct it. Nice. Uh, yeah. Just basically, that's the DEFCON one. Uh, both the OP and R binted speaking in deep L to each other. They are. Uh, just LMAO. Everything is slanderous for them. Uh, how the daily lives. Uh, they can't even live their daily lives, basically. Yes, they don't. Uh, such people spend 99% of the time on Twitter. Reality doesn't exist for them. It's just basically, yeah, they're spending too much time on Twitter. Of course, do not spend too much time on Twitter. It can be a cesspool. As I said, it can be a cesspool. And uh, this is a continuation of that cesspool saying that, you know, it's the same person. Uh, they're trying to harass Kyo uh, to report the video. This person is um, trying to report the video, trying to get the video reported, uh, trying to get to JP fans on board, as is shown here, to report Kyo's video. Uh, yes, keep antagonizing the news tubers. Obviously worked very well last time. Kyo and False don't even like the Needy Sisters. Incoming Shrysan, can I have some popcorn? This is just keeping, uh, getting better by the minute. They don't like what the news said. Maybe they should look at the freaking source, Needy's actions. Last time their hit list became a laughing stock. They never seemed to learn. Needy Sisters going crazy, to be fair. Their, their Oshi made a suggestion to their talents was big enough to F up for the Japanese government to make a statement. This is past copium abuse. This is pure and absolute desperation to preserve the Oshi's name. And yeah, that's what they're doing, trying to pre preserve the Oshi's name. This whole long post was evaluating a JPX user's perspective on Antiko to Sanji side of things. They talk about everything from the ASAP collab to uh, Lamy saying, you know, it's not good to save to mix drinks to uh, Flipsy talking about the people who got sent to the hospital. Then, you know, um, talking about the sink the yacht stuff, people calling others needy sisters. They're flipping out on all these different things. Some people even saying that um, there may be even uh, the guy was the guy on, on, on the JP side was even saying that there might be legal issues due to that, at least not here in the US, because if you have proof behind it, it can't be considered slander or, you know, defamation. But um, I show falsities picture Weebcon. They don't give any concrete examples and just claim that much like Kyo, he's out for money. You know, basically like that kind of stuff. They're just uh, 4chan is a place of gathering hate against Niji. It basically, this guy just doesn't like the fact that people are against Niji Sanji. Although I feel that Niji Sanji is warranted in having people against them because they haven't been doing anything great to help their side in any way, shape or form. Like this person says, it's just an angry teenager. You're overthinking it. 
So that's part of the call-out post. They effectively said they want Nidhi sisters to sue me. I highly doubt they will. Niji can't even protect their own livers. Uh, even NDF is better than JP NDF. Uh, Ian NDF talk S a doc site and even then 4chan, but JP NDF harassment, they make someone jump from five. Yeah, basically. Uh, summary sound like it's some generic JP Niji sisters. So still in denial phase. You dig hard enough, you'll find more. Uh, like Kore Kore, Murakami. While it's true that certain talents are on good terms, Hoshisawa, Hoshikawa, who said it Nichisa, Niji Hachama, but she's slowly irrelevant due to bad management, Rico underestimating international market, uh, making things tank. Gotcha games are part of JP and Hololive, seeming to get all those gotcha game sponsorships, which led to Niji talent moderators become anti. So yeah, basically some there's 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 gonna be some uh feeling of of envy, I guess. Uh slowly taking OPED anime collabs, uh like Nenichi stuff, getting most of the major gaming sponsorships. Doki getting some sponsorships, Doki getting all the wins that she's getting. It really just seems like it's a lot of cope and it's a lot of seething from them. Used to be a powerhouse, but now Hololive and even Indies are taking their place and even smaller agencies. I'm curious about this one. Um, you devolved so much time into an, another Niji fan's ramblings. Don't check other people do here. Uh, two livers actually attempted mismanagement, livers being R. Uh, favoritism, what they say doesn't change the fact that any color is a bad company. Anything, the person should be condemning the company for letting this happen. Absolutely, I agree with that part. But instead of going after people condemning the company. Again, don't harass these people. Don't go after harassment. That's one thing I always want to push when I say these things. This is a short one as well about Keisan uh, or Kiryu Koko, who she used to be in Hololife when she was still active in Hololife. Uh, she knows about restrictions. She knows about the big company restrictions. She knows how that can affect you in the long run, how that has affected her, how now that she's Keisan, she doesn't have to worry about that. Um, but one of the big things is that she's being restricted from collabing with anyone in Disanji. Um, and yes, it's very true. She's proven that again and again because she said uh, because of the things that happened with the Taiwan incident and how West Taiwan responded to the Taiwan incident, um, they don't like, Niji Sandy doesn't like her because of the fact that they are courting West Taiwan with Billy Billy and things like that, West Taiwan or China. Uh, they're courting them. They're getting a lot of money from them. So in order to prevent antis for Niji Sanji livers, if that's what my guess at least, uh, they are making sure that they stay away from anybody who is seen as toxic to the Chinese fan base. Uh, funny story, I thought Niji Sanji was a Chinese company for some time since they hated Coco and wouldn't collab with Kaysan. Uh, it would have been a huge collab, would have been much, much, much better for Kaysan than it would have for Niji Sanji. And it actually would have shown goodwill on Niji Sanji's side. But of course, they're not going to do that because they don't want to anger the wallets of the Niji, of the Niji Sanji uh, Chinese fans. So that's just what I wanted to tell you. Thank you so much for watching. A bit on the Vishojo side. Uh, let's see his Zentreya. Zentreya is definitely very based with the way that she does things. Says, haha, look, they blocked me. I win. No, B. I win because I don't have to see you again. And you don't have to keep thinking about me. Opening incognito to see what I'm doing while I forgot who you are five seconds later. Exactly. The haters and all that kind of stuff, you just block. Uh, and then you stop thinking about them. Uh, that's the best way you can actually have any kind of peace of mind. And also, of course, success, which Zentreya has a lot of, is the best reward and the best revenge, if you want to call it that. Applicable to the internet in general, Zen is a real one. Never understood why every single instance of block is taken as a win. There's a good chance it's not because you won in an argument or you're factually correct, it's just because you're annoying as sin and don't want to hear from you. Exactly. Uh, moving on to what they said. She's putting together a special music video with fans and stuff like that at the Shoujo events. Of course, if you uh, show the stuff, then of course, you know, you uh, agree to it being shown in that music video. To show more, uh, Nidhi Sanji, the music video, everything happens for a reason. Uh, luckily, Nidhi Sanji has no control over this music video. Uh, reference to Virtual Rhapsody from Nidhi Sanji, if that's the case. And yes, I'm hoping it wasn't one minute for meet and greet and take longer than hours. So I didn't cause many lashes and complaints from her, from fans. To reference to Slan's Ask Up a Coffee, which was private a few hours after its release. Ah, it was, it, that, that was based. Another based one. And a triple based one is Halo Reach, Bricky, and Marta Rakan doing a collab. Uh, 5K CCV is quite good. It proves that the livers only need to meet the right people at the right time. Also, her reaction to Kat's death is funny. Uh, stream highlight video. Actual CCV for stream was 63.8 uh, on Twitch and 16.2 on YouTube VODs. That's actually pretty freaking good, honestly. Uh, Bricky is a popular Warhammer YouTuber. I thought it was McNasty. Same. Uh, Mata is joining, so it should be Halo Roach. Uh, love Bricky's face. Yeah, this is a good one. This is good moments of Vishojo. Of course, they know uh, PR a bit better, at least their talents know PR a bit better than the talents of Nidhi Sanji and Nidhi Sanji in general. This one is about a supposed, a theorized PL of Hex Haywire. Uh, you know, re-quoting his stuff, retweeting his stuff. Kyrio, Kyrio, Kyrio is on hiatus, supposedly. 
uh, because they're on Nidhi San Jien, supposedly, uh, for Hex Haywire. People are doing the same things. Oh, love you, mama. Uh, you know, we're cooking today. Yippee. See you in a bit. Uh, he's allowed to do that. At the very least, he's sinking, feeling that management is going to be upset with him. Fortunately, he has not replied. He's not helped with this list of stuff. Management can use to justify his termination if they want to justify it at a later date. Uh, looks like he peed, peed off management by doing that. Uh, also have the feeling that something will happen, like maybe taking down the stream or blocking him to prevent the stream. Uh, they, they actually did do something, though. Um, they made it so that he had to do a uh, an actual pre-recorded part. Uh, he had to actually pre-record that stuff, which is not good. It's not fun. It's not uh, doesn't make for happy people when you have to have things pre-recorded. I can see the ending. Well, I know management are probably uh, mad at him by doing this. Links taking forever. For load for me. A hex replied to Nidhi Sanji account using his PL account, making it very obvious what his PL account is. Also, his PL and Nidhi Sanji account have extremely similar profile pictures, which also adds to the obviousness of it all. Um, and yeah, here the Kyrio thing, the, you know, continuing to the stuff that I just saw and we actually just showed in his actual tweet. This is actually Twitter, so, you know, say what you will about the guy. He's kind of based. He's peed off at management for a dumb decision. I get it. He's going to graduate soon. Who knows? Uh, we don't know yet. But, um, you know, don't send hate towards his way. He'd let him just stew and be the way that he's going to be. A little bit of a meme time. Uh, Claude's logic is infallible. He says, my play button got stolen recently. I was pretty bummed about it. But I think whoever stole it was probably more happy to get it than I am to be sad. Which is, you know, Riku's pot of greed. Uh, the total greed in the world increased. So, whatever. And of course, he could ask for it if he wants to. I thought Riku's image looked weird, but Pot of Riku is a brilliant idea. I remember the BS. Uh, I used to read this guy's comic, then got distracted by life, then this one came out. Uh, Sayu asked them and said, no, liver, no liver gets their own play button at all. But it verifies that Claude has been saying this whole time, doesn't it? Smart guy that could just, they could just ask. But they won't. But yeah, that's, that's a little, little bit there. And another meme side is the Air Pandora is unstoppable in her fall. It's unstoppable in the fall that she's having, of course. And uh, 791 watching for someone that is so big is not a very good picture. It doesn't paint a rosy picture. Um, and of course, like I said, that's just a snapshot. 800 viewers, uh, probably uh, probably going to to peak at 1K. A lot of these a lot of these livers do peak at 1K. That's just a snapshot of this. As I always like to say, this is just a snapshot. She could have peaked at 1K. We don't have the full v, v stats for this. So take it as a meme. That's why I'm taking it as a meme myself. Another short one, but a good and a good one is um, the translation is accurate. Aside from one part, the number six uh, here is uh, translates to ugly as the way they pronounce the six and ugly are Vietnamese. So they're basically saying that his model getting uglier by the day. I also saw quotes for reply from her mentioning how she's also on seeing a decline in Lam's art might translate as well. This is Usan's uh, VTuber mama unnamed Usan, uh, who used to be Yugo, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look at this. Um, this is basically Western fetish. La mama cry in her heart and finish drawing this. I already felt sick since he uses number three model. Saw something not right when he uses it regularly. I knew that he asked her to draw, follow his fetish just by looking at this. So it's just getting sicker. When I saw this on X, I was just like, WTF. Um, it's evolving just backwards. The devolution of Vox Alchema. Uh, also affects the artist who drew the outfit. Kanish, Kanish mama, Kanishima, mama of, of uh, Starsan, has some thoughts about VX's new outfit in her Facebook she links, thinks Lam was forced by Vox to draw it. That's what everyone thinks. Everyone thinks that that uh, Vox was for forcing Lam to draw it. And it, it's an answer to thinking of Vox uh, outfit drama, the people who snickered at terms of cultural appropriation. Uh, EN industry is filled with the brim with people with jet, fake Japanese names and lore. Uh, at least this guy works for a JP company. You know, I guess, I guess people seeing it that way. Uh, here's what this said. This is the full thing here. You can translate it if you want. Of course, I don't know Thai. So it looks like the kindreds were hating on her for sharing her opinion. So she made a really long reply, basically defending herself. For anyone desperate for a full translation, hi there. First of all, thank you for the information. For the first point, it's important for me to let you know that I don't, I'm not anti-Vox or any live or Niji. I still support, though I won't draw frequently and uh, no longer making VTuber intro videos since I didn't have much time to watch streams. I'm also busy as heck. My stance on everything was normal. I repeat, I don't hate Vox at all. And do, do you even see me posting S about the decent Vox drama? Second, for the visual part, despite watching the lore video. When comparing to the old model, I didn't think it was beautiful anymore. And I really found it ugly. When his third model was realized, I quit watching him because of, of that, but I didn't say anything about it. Still following him, not watching him. But when I saw the fourth one on X Twitter, I was like, holy S, tried my best. She said she didn't hate Vox or care much about his drama, but she stopped liking or caring about the model ever since the third one. Pretty much, that's that's the way it goes. And it's understandable because some people didn't like this one as well. Um, 
this whole one, uh, Vesper Noir from Hollow Tempest. 2.0 model was done by Paco Sensei, perhaps the most updated evolution. But there are some people who didn't like this. Of course, I think it's well done. I think it's really well done and it fits his style before. But there were a lot of people who didn't like this because it kind of gave a weird uncanny vibe as well. So, you know, people are going to have their opinions and, of course, respect those opinions. Real quick at the Doki Bird World Domination. This is, of course, the source here. I'm showing that because I want you guys to see the source. Another stop for the Doki World Tour. We have a meet and greet in Australia. Other exciting things. Please be on the lookout. The Laughing Bird has arrived and is ready to win some hearts. AVCon is excited to announce their next guest internationally. Renowned virtual YouTuber, Doki Bird. So she's having more conventions. She's doing the Doki Bird World Tour. This is great. It's a big W. Keep crushing it, Doki. It's a double. Doki, please. Doki, please come to Brazil. I mean, it all depends on the cons, of course. Uh, I'm so proud of you. Keep getting a chance to uh, meet and greet one day. Hopefully, people get to meet and greet. This is all a good thing for her. She's straight up clowning on EDC on at this point. She's getting deals left and right and center, while Ethereum got uninvited to Ofkai or whatever. At this point, I really want to know... Is there more neutral friends of Doki who are still on Niji are thinking her being successful just got to be making some of them question management for mere existence at this point. Doki's existence is kind of the proof of Niji Sanji's failure. The best revenge is a massive success. Best part, she hasn't done or said anything uh, regarding them, uh, Niji Sanji, you know, any of the statements. Uh, any F up Niji has done from this point on, it's all on them. Cannot fathom their right mind decided to slander one of the most successful female VTubers of Niji Sanji Ian Branch right after winning two awards. Who was stupid enough to do that? Who? Pretty much sealed off Niji Sanji's fate in that region, yes. Uh, Niji Seething is about to avoid Australia due to Hollow Life Dream Hack, concert wiping Virtual Rhapsody last month. So only Niji refugees would, would be welcome. Doki Bird is right in that category like a glove. Also, W racked up for Dragoons under, down under as well. Jakarta Requiem. Seeing with her hands shaped heart makes the heart go doki doki. Of course, support her and, you know, another big win for her. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.